Jared Polin, photo.com, and this is your photo news fix. This fix is brought to you by Tamron and their new 24-70 2.8 G2 lens. Now I've given this lens a sniff test and it's a great option for full frame shooters who are looking to have a nice fast all around lens in your bag to shoot photos and video. For more information on the 24-70 2.8 G2, head on over to bit.ly slash Tron2470. First up, do you have thousands of old prints floating around your house, your parents' house, your grandparents' house, your ex's house, or someone else's house for that matter? If you're like me, you have tons of prints sitting around in albums just waiting for the day when somebody decides to look at them, and that day, well, it tends to be... I know a lot of people want to preserve their old photos, but don't want to take the time to scan each image one at a time. Well, there's some good news. Epson has announced their new Fast Photo FF680W, which is a wireless and USB high-speed photo scanner that they say is the world's fastest personal photo scanner. Well, that's kind of funny because Kodak used to make something similar, but we know how that story ended. How did it end, Jared? Not well, Dan, not well. The FF680W can scan batches of 36 prints in as little as one image per second. So if my math is right, it would take 36 seconds to get 36 photos, is, is that correct? You now have the option to scan your images up to 1200 DPI and save them in TIFF format, but something tells me that will take a lot longer than one second per scan. Now, I don't understand why they don't let you do DNG, but maybe they'll add that in the future. The scanner can also directly upload your photos to the cloud and can act as another place where you will never look at those images again. <laughs> So if this scanner is something for you, you can pick one up for 600 bucks. Next up, do you own a full frame Nikon or Canon camera and are in the market for a lens that is small, light, and doesn't fully break the bank, depending on whose bank account it actually is? Tamron has announced a three and a half inch long, which is 8.9 centimeters for those who are playing in the metric system, that is one pound or 0.46 kilograms, 17 to 35 f 2.8 to 4 OSD zoom lens. Now it's funny that they called an OSD lens, I probably would have named it the OMD one instead. How bizarre. This super light, super small lens packs 15 elements in 10 groups with fluorine coating and is said to have moisture resistant construction. Now I guess it's designed for people with sweaty hands. Kind of, wait, it says do not insert Steven joke here is, is what it says, Dan. If this lens sounds like it's for you, it will be priced at $599 and will be released for Nikon on September 4th and for Canon at a later date. Do you remember Lens Baby, the quirky plastic bendable lens manufacturer who attempted to make real lenses and probably should have stuck to making the quirky lenses that made them popular in the first place? Well, maybe they realized quirky is a good thing and they announced the Lens Baby Soul. The Soul is Lens Baby's most playful and accessible lens yet that features unusual bokeh blades that can be moved into the image field of view to give you fun results. The samples they showed and the results they got definitely seem pretty cool and might be a hit with the mustache black glass frame fixie riding crowd or all of Portland. The Soul 45 has a fixed f3.5 aperture and can be used with Canon EF, Nikon F, Sony A, Pentax K, Sony E, and even Fuji X style of cameras. Hey Dan, let's review that Fuji next. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is a fully manual lens, but you can tilt it and move the bokeh blades in and out of the field of view. If you think this is something for you, you can order it right now at Adorama for under 200 bucks, and the link is down below. And finally, as we count down towards the release of something from Nikon on August 23rd, we have yet another leak showcasing what the camera might look like. Nikon Rumors was quick to react in posting the images, which were uploaded and then deleted on Twitter by the fan account for Chinese actress Dilly Reba. Now, I certainly hope that I got that right this week because last week I should have said Argus, not Argus. Yourself. I have to say, one of my gripes with past mirrorless cameras has been the size or lack thereof of the grip. These leaked images show a camera with a substantial grip that resembles other Nikon DSLRs, which I think is a good thing. Other than that, we get a nice look at the outside of the viewfinder and two dials on top of the camera. There's only a few short weeks left until this thing is real, and as you can tell, 
I'm super excited. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. And I want to thank you very much for watching Jared Poland, Photo.com. See ya.